Hello students, in my previous few videos, we have learned what exactly is a double integration and triple integration. We have done questions on double integration. Also, we have discussed the question where you have to change the order of integration and do the double integration. So now it's time to learn triple integrals. Okay, so let us come to this. My basic first concept, which I explained you in the first video of multiple integrals remains the same. Look here carefully, the first integral has x and z in the limit. It means it represents the limit of y. Correct, so y is done. Now the other integral has the z in the variable. So it is the limit of x. It can be the limit of x, it can be the limit of y, but y is assigned here. So it has to be the limit of x only. Right, so definitely z I have this. Correct. So now using this, we will start the work. First thing I need to integrate with respect to y. Right. So actually we should write here dy. I am overwriting here only dy. Then I should integrate with respect to x. And then last I should integrate with respect to z. That should be the order of integration. So let us start with the first integral. So first I am not doing second one. 0 to z for x and now I am integrating with respect to y. So x is a constant. So x remain constant and y will come and write down the limit x minus z and x plus z plus now y square by 2. So again x minus z x plus z okay plus z is a constant so y x minus z and x plus z. So, this is here and I will write dx dz. Okay, first step is clear to everyone. x and z was constant. That's why y, y came. And integral of y is y square by 2. Now, let us put the limits. So, now when you put the limit, first term is x plus z, upper limit, minus lower limit. So, minus of x minus z is what? Minus x plus z. Plus, 1 by 2 will come out in bracket. Now, understand this. You will have upper limit minus lower limit. Okay. Plus z, upper limit minus lower limit. Right. So, next step what I will have? Minus 1 to 1. 0 to z. Here if you observe x and minus x get cancelled 2z. So 2xz. Correct? Now in the second term if you open the bracket by a plus b whole square what are the terms you are going, going to get from here? x square plus z square plus 2xz. Okay? Here a minus b whole square formula. So minus x square because this minus is outside. Minus z square and plus 2xz. So x square z square is going. And it is 4xz. Okay. And already 2 is there. So basically it will become 4xz. And in the last term x and minus x are going. So 2z square. So plus 2z square and dx dz. So now I will integrate with respect to x. Okay. So now when I will integrate with respect to x, this is 6xz. So 6 and z is a constant. Integration of x will be x square by 2. And the limit is 0 to z. Plus 2z square will remain constant and x limit 0 to z. So I will remove this one integral because I have integrated Okay, and now the only thing left is integration with respect to z. But first I need to put the limits. So, one integral with the limit minus 1 to 1 which is the limit of z. So, this will become 3z. Okay, and z square. And plus 2z square and z means z cube. Okay, and this whole is 3dz. So, here 3z cube and 2z cube means 5z cube I have got. So I will write 5z cube integral minus 1 to 1 
dz. Okay, now I will integrate this. So, 5 is a constant. What is the integration of z cube? z to the power 4 upon 4. Limit minus 1 to 1. Right? So, this is equal to 5 by 4. Now, put the limit. When in place of z I put 1, I will get 1 minus lower limit. Now, when I put minus 1 to the power 4, minus 1 to the power 4 will become plus 1. So, this becomes 0, which is my answer. So, slowly it is a simple integration only. First step, you have to figure it out. What should be the order? And then slowly you integrate one by one. Make sure you always write the limits like this. So, you can avoid the mistake. Sometime when in the whole expression you write the limit outside and apply, you do the mistake because there are three variables. So, always have a habit of doing this so that you should not put at a wrong place because our mind is like from beginning we are always putting the limits for x. So, it is a very common mistake from the student side. So, just take care of this thing. Okay. Now, let's move to the next question. My next question has exponential in it. So, remember when you are talking about exponential, integration of e to the power x is e to the power x. Okay, and integration of e to the power ax is equal to e to the power ax upon a. Correct, same thing, you need to remember one thing. When you have to integrate like this, suppose e to the power, okay, I will write here. Suppose you have to write e to the power, say, x plus 2. Okay, so what will be its integration? So, I will split and show you. It can be written as e to the power x and e to the power 2. Right, and integration of e to the power x remain e to the power x and e to the power 2 is constant. So, e to the power x and e to the power 2 which will become again the same thing. So, always remember whenever you have a variable with constant, it remains same. Okay, so either if you are confused, you can always split it like this by using exponent rule or you can work out with that. Okay, now let us start the question. The first limit is definitely the limit of z. And the second is the limit of y because x is sitting in the limit. See, first has x and y, so it will be the limit of z. Second integral has x, so it is the limit of y. And this one, what is the left variable? x. So, this is the limit of x. So, now what will be my order? z, y and then x. Okay. So, let us start integrating. So, now when you do the first integration, I am integrating with respect to z. So, x and y are constant. So, it is c, same, z plus 2. So, what will be the integral? Integral will be e to the power x plus y plus z. Okay, and limit is 0 to x plus y. Okay, now, next step. Let us put the limit. Here, putting limit is also very important thing. So, now when I will put the limit, I have to put the limit for z. Okay, this is x. I have to put the limit for z. So, e to the power x plus y plus x plus y minus. Now, 0 I have to put. So, it will become e to the power x plus y. So, you have to be very careful when you have exponential that 0 will not give always answer 0. e to the power 0 is 1 and here to anyways I am getting a number. So, here only I will write is equal to e to the power 2 x plus y minus e to the power x plus y. Okay. And you have dy dx. So, let us move to the next step. Right. So, now see one more thing you can do here. If you are confused in how the things are working, you can I am, I am just showing you here. You can always write it as e to the power x into e to the power y and e to the power z. Then this will remain same and integration of e to the power z is e to the power z. So, if you are confused in this, you can always do this. No harm in doing that. Okay. Now, come back to the question. Now, I have to integrate with respect to y. So, one integral is reduced and integration of e to the power 2x plus y is equal to e to the power 2x plus y upon 2, right, because this is a constant. So, basically, 
see if you are confused to x actually so i'll show you how i can do it by opening the uh, exponential so that you don't get confused in the exam so you write it as e to the power 2x and e to the power 2y okay and then when you integrate i am integrating with respect to y so this remain constant and integration of e to the power 2y is what e to the power 2y upon 2 understood that's the reason i wrote e to the power 2x plus y upon 2 okay so you can do it like this or you can directly write it as i did earlier so i'll i'll go back to what i did earlier so e to the power 2x plus y upon 2 okay minus e to the power x plus y and what is the limit for this integral 0 to x and the last integral will be with respect to x now i'll put the limits so let me put the limit once i'll put x what i'll get e to the power x plus x because i integrated with respect to y so 2x 2x into 2 is 4x right minus now put here e to the power 2x minus when i put 0 so in place of y i am putting 0 so e to the power 2x upon 2 minus e to the power x and dx and the limit is 0 to a for x okay next step i can combine these two terms so e to the power 4x upon 2 minus e to the power 2x and this will become 3 by 2 minus e to the power x dx okay now let's put the limit the limit is 0 to a so first i need to integrate right so integration will be e to the power 4x upon 4 so 8 minus 3 by 2 e to the power 2x upon 2 so this will become 4 minus e to the power x and what is the limit 0 to a hmm? now put the upper limit e to the power 4 a upon 8 minus 3 by 4 e to the power 2 a minus e to the power a minus now start putting the lower limit in case of exponential 0 will not always make it 0 so e to the power 0 is what 0 1 so 1 by 8 minus 3 by 4 minus 1 but it is a lower limit so these two term will become plus okay so now first term is e to the power 4a upon 8 i can't combine it with anyone then minus 3 by 4 e to the power 2a right see here it is 3 e to the power 2x upon 2 4 correct and then minus e to the power a correct now if you combine these three terms right so what is the lcm here i'll write plus first lcm is 8 right so minus 1 plus 6 plus 8 so 8 9 10 14 minus 1 is 13 right so just see student here, here you have missed one minus sign when you have put the limit x here you put it to it will come e to the power 4x by 2 minus e to the power 2x and minus e to the power 2x by now when you are putting the upper limit okay when you are putting the upper limit it will give e to the power 4x by 2 no issues then minus e to the power 2x no issues then when you are putting lower limit so minus e to the power 2x by 2 no issues and then when you are putting here minus minus will become plus by mistake i wrote here minus now it is plus okay so change this integral while doing it the first time i wrote minus then i saw that i am not getting the correct answer so i cross check just now so it should be mine plus okay if this is plus this term will become plus this term will become plus and this term and this term will become minus then right so now what will happen when you are solving this this will become like this and what you will get e to the power 4a by 8 minus 3 by 4 e to the power 2a plus e to the power a and this will be your minus 3 by 8 right so here you got the answer and this has to be a 3 by 4 okay so this is what i got the answer i hope you understood this both the questions 
प्रैक्टिस द क्वेश्चन मोर यू डू मोर कॉन्फिडेंस यू विल गेट एंड लेस सिली मिस्टेक्स यू विल डू इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल डू टू मोर क्वेश्चन बाय दैट टाइम हैव अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस थैंक यू